Welcome everyone. I'm in Natural Bridge, Virginia today and right over there to my right in the woods lies a roadside attraction that was created by a master, a genius of fiberglass sculptures that resides here in town by the name of Mark Klein. He opened a bunch of roadside attractions off in the wilderness. Unfortunately, arsonists have not been his best friend two and three times his roadside attractions. He's seen them burned to the ground by people that evidently did not either want them there or kids playing with matches or fire. Who knows? Either way, those roadside attractions are gone, but there might be remnants up in the woods of a haunted area, a dinosaur kingdom, and who could forget the most important thing? Bigfoot. Let's go check it out. Join me, shall you? Big the foot. No, not you, the real big foot. Oh, oh, not me. This old metal gate hiding in the woods. You can see where the old sign used to be, and there's the walkway. A chainsaw in the background. Somebody doing some work out here in the woods. Hope it's not Leatherface. Uh, look at this. There's some sort of cloth debris here and a pallet with a chunk of wood. Maybe this was some sort of area where a figurine or something was propped up against there. Who knows? That chainsaw really adds to the ambiance of being in the middle of the woods all by yourself. Skeleton faces and chainsaw sounds. What a bummer. A little roadside attraction goodness. His dream burned down, burned to the ground by arsonists. Such a shame that people just can't leave things alone. There has to be bad in the world. And that's why this place no longer exists. Look at these rock formations up the side of the mountain. Obviously this was built with the mountain range in mind. Must have been pretty fantastic when it was open. Now there's just charred trees. This isn't exactly the best terrain to be walking around with flip-flops on. 
Look at all this rusted, broken, sharded metal. Tetanus shot, anyone? There's a lot of spider webs out here. Good thing I got my trusty tripod to ward off the webs. Number three. Yeah, that's obviously a landmark. So the guests wouldn't get lost out here in the woods. Sadly, it looks like all the dinosaurs have been removed. There's an old sign down there that I can't read, can't make it out. And here's like a little piece of rope, deteriorated rope. Pieces of wood. Bigfoot was definitely out here. Time to find Bigfoot. Bigfoot is out here. Somewhere. Right down this pathway was another part of the roadside attraction. Right there in that wooden area, straight ahead, is where Bigfoot was. The dynamite packet was right there. He would push down the dynamite. One, two, three, four, five. Those doors would fall from side to side. Well, I didn't kill Bigfoot. And an angry Bigfoot would greet guests right down this pathway. This is where Bigfoot's lair was, if you will. Right inside that cage was a huge Bigfoot. That's the actual Bigfoot that was in that wooden box. He rolled it underneath and the wooden box exploded. And this guy said hello. Hello. Let's get out of here! He's got temper! Those fell to the side when the dynamite exploded. And check out over here. There's a gas can. Just sitting there. Where has Bigfoot gone? Has anyone seen Bigfoot? There it is up there! That's, wait a minute, that's Mrs. Bigfoot, she's got my fish, and she's got a temper ten times worse than he does, everybody! It's like a dinosaur head. But it's not, it's just a piece of wood. It's a tree that's fallen. It looks kind of like a stegosaurus or a brontosaurus. Some kind of a saurus. Dead end. Guess we're going back this way. Boy, there's a lot 
of greenery. Hoping this is not poison ivy, because as you can see, flip-flops, I've got flip-flops on. Probably, probably should have shoes on, but I don't. I don't. Thorns, thorns. Someone definitely did some damage out here. Look at that fire damage right there. Not just on that building, but buildings way over there. Definitely not an accidental flame part of the wooden fence. Crazy. Ah, my leg, thorns, thorns, ah. <laughs> Bigfoot? Bigfoot, is that you? Bigfoot hair. Bigfoot? Bigfoot. Bigfoot, is that your hair, Bigfoot? Big, Bigfoot. Is that your hair, Bigfoot? Stuck in the window? Bigfoot, is that your hair? A few miles away from the former roadside attractions, Mark Klein owns and operates the Enchanted Castle Studios. At first glance, it looks like an abandoned location, but don't be fooled. Almost every day he can be found working, sculpting, and creating inside these walls. Well, I got a bunch of them. I just don't have them all here. Colonel Sanders? Well, that's, well, actually, I shouldn't have worn the tie there. That's more of a Twain. I got a Twain. Mark Twain, yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is amazing.
vulture head. And the Oscar goes to that guy? Doop to doop doop doop. Whoa, Frankenstein chicken. Franken chicken? Chicken Frank? Foam hinge, foam hinge, foam hinge. Look at this. This is awesome it's all made out of foam this is not really stone or granite or any kind of hard like material it's actually made out of legitimate foam 